Hello, my name is John Reeves and I've been a guide at Durham Cathedral for about four years. Beneath the Bishop's Throne is the tomb of Thomas Hatfield. In his youth, Hatfield was away fighting in France for most of the time. And that's where he met King Edward III and Queen Philippa. And they in fact helped him to become the Bishop of Durham. Being a great soldier, he was also quite conceited and arrogant. And he wanted his tomb to be as close to the high altar as possible. His tomb being here, the high altar, just a couple of yards further east. He also wanted the highest bishop's throne in Christendom. Now, how was he going to do it? He decided to send envoys out to all the great cathedrals and they came back with the measurements and he found out that the Pope's was obviously the highest. So he had this built about three inches or six centimeters high. And the story goes the Pope was so annoyed that he had a huge cushion put on his. He was primarily though a great soldier, as most of the bishops were. The bishops of Durham had huge regal powers. They minted their own money with their own image on it, they raised taxes, they made their own laws, and of course they commanded a standing army as a deterrent against the Sc any Scottish invasion. Uh, as a, a great soldier, Hatfield was away in France with Edward III. Edward was pushing for his right to the French throne, uh, and they met at the Battle of Cressy. During the battle, the king's son, the Black Prince, got into difficulties, and Hatfield was sent by the king to rescue him. Having done that successfully, the king showered him with gifts, and also let him put an effigy of himself with a new coat of arms on the throne. This was something quite unique, never happened before, and if you were to do it today, you would probably have to go to the Queen, put your arm around her shoulder, and take a selfie. Hatfield was also, as well as being conceited, he was a very generous man towards the poor. He gave them lots of money, and he also founded Durham College in Oxford, which later became Trinity College. He died in London, in one of his favourite houses, and his body was brought up by a funeral ch chariot all the way to Durham. It's also said that he had quite a sense of humour and that some of his last words probably were, the next Bishop of Durham will be enthroned over my dead body. On the two great columns between Hatfield's tomb and the high altar are an unusual scene. On one side there is a lion fighting a rhinoceros no one quite knows why at the moment, but if you look at the column on the other side, the lion is actually devouring the rhinoceros. Now, why should this be? Well, it is a case of good defeating evil. The lion is good, and the rhino, for some reason, no one really knows why, is evil. But good wins in the end. <laughs>